The Great Smog of London was a deadly five-day pollution event from December 5th to 9th, 1952, when industrial smoke and cold weather coal burning met a stagnant high-pressure system that trapped filthy air at ground level. London had long been infamous for pea supers, thick, yellow coal smoke fogs dating back to medieval times and worsened by the Industrial Revolution. But this one was unprecedented. An anti-cyclone created a temperature inversion, preventing smoke from chimneys and factory stacks from dispersing. Water vapor clung to soot and other particulates, forming a dense, toxic smog so thick some Londoners couldn't see their own feet. Buses and cars were abandoned. Ambulances struggled to operate. Indoor events were canceled as smog seeped into theaters, and crime rose under the murky cover. Hospitals saw surges in pneumonia, bronchitis, and other respiratory crises. Even cattle at Smithfield Market reportedly suffocated. Initial estimates put the death toll at about 4,000, but later analyses suggest closer to 12,000 premature deaths. Public horror finally forced action. The Clean Air Act of 1956 created smoke control zones, restricted domestic and industrial coal use, and subsidized cleaner fuels. Though smog incidents continued for a time, the act marked a turning point in both British public health and global environmental policy.